hello, welcome back to another episode of Slightly Entertaining. Um, you're here with Carmen and Peach. Hi. We're very relaxed, yeah. you could say. Very chill, very, you know, at peace. Get on a bit of a vacation mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. planning. If you couldn't tell. Yeah, planning for some future vacations this episode. So, Because, you know, we can't afford to go under a one. Yeah, so we're just hope and dream and one day maybe it'll happen. Maybe. Manifest. But, before we go into our, you know, dream trips and all mm-hmm. that, let's do the national today, Woo-hoo. which today is Nash- International Doodle Dog Day. I have a doodle dog. Well, it's an oodle. I don't know if that's a doodle. That's a doodle. It's a doodle. I have a cavoodle. A doodle. Yeah. Yeah. And then also somehow National Purebred Dog Day at the same day. So, that's a bit, um, yeah, a little bit counterintuitive there. Like, you know, it's a... Yeah. Anyways. How can you... Um, today's also Learn to Ride a Bike Day. Oh, ah, how was your experience learning how to ride a bike? I mean, I can't even remember not knowing how to ride a bike. I learned pretty much. Yeah, like I don't remember I not knowing, but I do remember this one time. I think it was when I was learning how to ride my bike. Not learning, but maybe practicing. Mm-hmm. And my dad just like took me off the training wheels, right? And I had a few times, like this wasn't the first time, so I was going, going. And I specifically remember this memory. I was like distracted, like myself. I was going through my own thoughts. And I was like, hmm, I, <laughs> this is so random. Like, hmm. I haven't watched Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix in so long and then I literally like fell off my bike because <laughs> I was distracted and my mum was like, that's why you shouldn't be thinking about other things while while riding a bike. Focus on riding the bike. So, well, that's speaking of falling off bikes, I had a really bad like accident when I was younger Yeah, because when you lived in Africa, you'd like basically everything you did all day was just ride your bike around. Mm. And we had like this like gravel kind of pebbly rough kind of stones. Oh, no, I was riding, I fell that. off, scraped my whole face. You, didn't we talk about this on that pod? When yeah, you asked the that's how I got my star. Yeah. yeah, so that's my bike stories. It's yeah, traumatizing. But. Yeah. Anyways, today is also Save the Rhino Day, which oh. actually, you know, living in Africa, I did know about the Save the Rhino. Save Day. the Rhinos. Yeah. Yeah. Save the Rhinos, everyone. Save the Rhinos. We've had to save the manatees. Now we're saving the rhinos. Mm. Mm. We love animals here yeah. on this podcast. Definitely. One of the things we stand for. Yeah. Mm. Okay. We're back. We are doing real versus fake places. Oh, okay. So I want you to guess whether these places are real. Okay. Or fake. Or fake. Yeah. Wait, There's okay. Some good ones. Got it, got it. Right, a place called Yay. Yay? Like, like, as like, in Kanye? Like, after the one and only. Um, oh, uh, I feel like, yeah. There's it like is, a place? Yeah. It's Where? True. In Myanmar. Oh. But there's also a place in Victoria. Victoria, as in like? In Australia. In, a, like, the state. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Making his mark. Right. Yeah. There's a place called Bress. I feel like that's a real place. Yeah? Yeah. It is in Bel- no, in Belarus, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's just like a yeah, yeah. name. Yeah, head on like... down to Bress. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel like that's just mm, it's tender. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, next uh, place called Silly. Silly? Mm. Why do I feel like all of these are real? Are any they of them fake? They might. We're just going to say this one's fake because we have an Israel. Oh, God. Silly in Belgium. Oh. Yeah. Why is it not, like, European? I don't know. Well, we'll go through there's some other ones. Okay. Um. Okay, what about a place called Middle Fart? Middle Fart? Yeah, Middle Fart. Yes? <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, my in God. Denmark. I will, I will let you know. They're all real. Uh, oh, they're all real. The original plan was to do real or fake, but they're all just too good. Oh, okay, like, yeah, I don't yeah, even, yeah. I don't even need to think of fake ones. All right, this next one is called Verms. Spelt W O R M S. As in worms. Yeah. Oh. But it's in Belgium. So. Oh, yeah. Worms. Um. Yeah, apparently it was an important city during medieval times oh. and there was an important imperial diet here, the diet of worms. Oh. So, yeah, they must have eaten worms and worms. Yeah. In M- Germany. Do you think it was named after Probably. worms or do you think they ate worms because it was called worms? I don't know. Who came first, you know? The, the, the worm or the worm? <laughs> yeah, the worm or the worm. <laughs> And then there's this place who's that's in uh, North Staffordshire. Okay. Called Butt Lane. Oh, Butt Lane. Butt Lane. Oh. Yeah, but I think this one is my favourite one of all the ones I found. Oh, okay. Um, there's a place called Butt of Lewis. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. That is so rude. Oh, the number of times that my last name has been like played on, like. Excuse me. Yeah. There's a place in South America called Lake Titicaca. I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Lake Titicaca. Oh, but it 
it's a real place. I know. They're, yeah, all yeah. Real, they're all real places, no, but, but we can laugh it's at them. It's a place I've heard of. <laughs> Anyways, I think you'd like this place. You might want to go here. It's called Bacon in Indiana. I'm going there. Mm -hmm. Do you think they have bacon? Do they have bacon and bacon? Who knows? Do chickens lay eggs? Yes, they have bacon. Next one, this place I think would be a personal favorite of yours, and oh. I think actually might be where you were born. It's called Disappointment oh. Island. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, when I've seen Mistake Island, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a real place, but I've seen Mistake Island. Yep. <laughs> and then the last one is a place called Ugly in Essex. Oh, your hometown! Mm, your hometown. No. If I'm Disappointment Island, you have to be ugly. <laughs> Anyway, so that was some of the funny places oh. I found. Place. Do we want to talk about where we want to go? Next? Yes, because it's not any of those places, I can tell you that. <laughs> Whoosh. Hello, hello. Are you ready to take a trip with us around the world? All right. I'm going to go first with where I'd like to go. Okay. So yeah. this is, I mean, I didn't really plan it out in too much detail. Okay, It's yeah. just kind of in my life where I'd like to visit. I feel like I can predict a Most couple of the ones there. Most of You're yeah. the first ones you will. Yeah. Yeah, so firstly. Are these in any particular order or just like you just want to check these off at some point? Pretty much. Oh, well, kind of in order. Like, okay. I'll go to these ones first because I want to go more. And yeah. then, yeah, yeah, check them off. But yeah, so first stop would be Europe, mm -hmm. obviously, mm -hmm. doing France, Italy, Greece in the summer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, mm -hmm. I can hit up all the beaches. Maybe southern France more than, you know, other areas like Paris, of France. Yeah. yeah. And then in the winter, I would winter I would hit northern France mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Germany, Switzerland, UK, mm -hmm. all that kind of yeah. that side of Europe. Um, because I'd and I'd want to go to the Christmas markets. Oh yeah, like the German Christmas markets. Oh yeah, yeah. That's like yeah. a dream of mine to go yeah. there. Um, and then obviously I want to go skiing in Switzerland in mm -hmm. the Alps. Like, mm -hmm. oh, they're so yes, beautiful. Yes. Um, and so that's like the dream trips as I'd take would just yeah be, be Europe. There. And yeah, I'd want to be going like with people. Yeah, know, yeah, that kind of thing. But then I would like to do solo traveling at some point in my life. Um, so I'd probably I'd want to do Scandinavia. I think. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it's quite safe there. But like, yeah, you know, I feel like you could go experience. by yourself there yeah. and enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, all that kind of stuff. And it's pretty, and I want to see the Northern Lights. All that yes. kind of stuff. Yeah. Northern Lights would be beautiful. Um, and so then after that, I'd want to do Africa again. Visit all the places mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. you know I grew up. But especially, I want to go back to Cape Town. Yeah, it's so pretty there. So I love Cape Town. And then after, this isn't really a specific place, but I'd love to do like travel for the Olympics or for a sport. So like go somewhere just to watch the sport, mm, you know yeah. what I mean? So that's kind of like a bucket list trip. Yeah, like um, watching like an international sport somewhere. Yeah, or like like go to France, Paris for the Olympics or something yeah. like that. Like do something like that in my life. Mm. And then I'd also love to do like Dubai, Qatar, kind of like that mm -hmm. era. It'd be so cool. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. All of the things to do. You could spend months there. Yeah, I could. I could live there if I could live. I wanted <laughs> literally to so cool. And like they're so multicultural as well. Like yeah, you can visit the whole world in Dubai. Yeah. Um, and then also have to go to India to visit the motherland. Obviously, oh, yeah. Obviously, got to you know know where I come from. Yeah. And then I'd want to go back to New Zealand. Mm, yeah. Because we didn't do the north. We went on a school trip. We didn't yeah. do the North Island. And I feel like we did. Um. We did a lot of like naturey stuff. Like yeah. I want to see what like the cities are like. Yeah, or, like the towns. I want to do um, you know, the bungee jump. That's like the biggest bungee oh, jump God, in the world yeah, or something. Yeah. Like I feel like if I'm bungee jumping, I'm gonna bungee jump properly. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So I'd do that, and then I think Japan and Korea as well would be really mm. cool. Like Japan. Oh, oh my yes. goodness, my dad went, and I'm so jealous. Yeah, like, it's just it's the coolest country. I'd love to go. And then as I get older, I'm just going to hit, like, all the islands, you know, Bora Bora, mm -hmm, Maldives, mm -hmm. all those places. And Maybe just... another island that <laughs> might be coming up. Maybe. You'll see. You'll see. Um, so, yeah, you know, just kind of as I get older, relax and sort yeah. of relax and kind of travel. Would you – okay, no, no, no. I'll ask you when I'm talking. Yeah. yeah. Um, there is – like, I'd have to hit America as well at some yeah, point. But, yeah. like, it's not, like, top of my bucket list. Yeah. I'd rather do Europe. Yeah. Um, But there is – like, I'd want to kayak the Grand Canyon. I've heard mm -hmm. you can do that. Mm -hmm. That's like down the river. Yeah. Yeah. Bucket list for me. And then um, like go hiking in Canada and all like the national park, mm -hmm. all that yeah. kind of stuff. And then this is really like specific. Yeah. But you know, Princess and the Frog, how she has the beignets, like the little like the what? The donuts, like the square donuts and she dusts them with the powder. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go to New Orleans to get those. To get those. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. That's my. That's your travel. That's your okay. Travel itinerary. Nice. I feel like there are some places where I have the same. Yeah. But I feel like that's a very you thing. Like I feel like yours is more like visit. Okay, first you visit Europe, yeah. and then like do, like um, a lot of like I don't know outdoor like experiences. Yeah. 
yeah. and then just like just explore mm. mine's more like um very touristy but also like not i don't want it to be so touristy yeah you know what i mean okay so firstly okay first this isn't like i say that i want to go to usa i wouldn't know if i'd go there first like i'd be fine going to any other place but i do want to go to us sometime mm. obviously you know to, to watch sport like you said like to watch an nba game and like i literally have made like a list of cities that i'd want to go to obviously like phoenix because that's the city i support you know get some good merch there maybe it'll mm. be cheaper and then like new york i've got to see la boston or like massachusetts yeah you know? um miami and yeah. then like orlando and then you can go to like disney world and yeah stuff. yeah hawaii because like you know mm. and then like chicago like the big cities that's what i have then i have okay these are the other like countries slash cities which are like just very touristy london mm. dubai i also said dubai because mm. oh i just want to go to dubai yeah. i want to feel that rich life <laughs> like you know um tokyo like yeah. you said um the maldives mm. it's a similar like an island one relaxing you know thailand singapore i also want to go to vancouver because i went to canada but i went to like ottawa like on yeah. side because that's where my family lives so i want to go to vancouver um and then also other european countries like spain or like france like the countryside italy greece like i feel like you have to go there <laughs> like not that it's like mm. a bad but you know i'd go to other places i'd go to the other places that i said before yeah before going to europe which is a very yeah no i'm very different for that because i feel like everyone wants to go there but yeah. like, i'd go to other places before you like i'm fine with that anyway and then also i said sri lanka because i need to like see my country properly because i don't know what it's like and that's what i was gonna ask you would you go to sri lanka yeah of course like, would you travel there of course me? you shouldn't no i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> no but it's nice like i want to see it from like that sort of perspective. yeah like not living there but like as a tourist yeah well you, you know gotta I mean? go like i feel like yeah yeah um and also i have like monuments slash like landmarks because it's not like i'd want to go maybe for that whole entire place but just to see that mm -hmm. so apart from all the ones in the places i've listed above because you'd see them you know, yeah such a living in new york but like apart from that machu picchu mm -hmm. in peru i just always wanted to go there it's so nice like it's just like a dream of mine to go really? see it and just like yeah that's like cool. just like not not on a sunny day like i want like a cloudy day like, like a mysterious cooling, yeah. kind of like, like yeah you know, and it's just yeah. like nice yeah anyway that's that the mm -hmm. taj mahal um golden gate bridge san francisco it's kind yeah. of like you know must see sort of thing stonehenge and i'm like side I've heard it's I underwhelming have, i know but i just have the intrusive thought that i just want to like kick one of those rocks and i'm really <laughs> hoping it'll just move i don't know why but every time i see it i'm like i really just want to like take down stonehenge yeah just like move the rocks or something um i also did the pyramids yeah um and then like okay so i'm gonna say this as like to advertise it as well but like i've been to niagara falls but i'd go again because it is so good and doing the you can go on a boat that goes in the mm -hmm. water and goes close to the act well not right near the fall but goes close to it and you get soaked from all like the the falling water that hits you i'd highly recommend it's one of the that's the best thing i've ever done really today. yeah wow i don't think i've had a better experience that's a than big that. call yeah because i mean i haven't had that great like as in like there's nothing that's exceeded that but wow that, so that's so far been like the best thing i've ever best done. day of your life not day but the, the best, best thing, thing i've ever done, done. yeah wow that that's a big call and then see i, I wrote a whole list of these again mm. then i have like experiences like random things that i just want to like do at some point i have um i similar to you like visit like some sort of northern european country like scandinavia or just randomly like lithuania or something i just want to <laughs> see what it's like like yeah. you know what i mean just like what 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 does living in lithuania like just like what does it look like mean? um also snorkel in the great barrier reef like it's right yeah. there but like, I feel yeah like traveling australia happens. i feel like goes without saying yeah um and then similar to when i said massachusetts there's like the basketball hall of fame there mm -hmm. where you get like the, all the like the story and the history and stuff of that and it's so cool so i want to go there i said see the northern lights as well so that's pretty cool i saw the visit a bioluminescent beach Mm -hmm. you know those ones yeah, that have like yeah, a little yeah. krill or whatever the little bite i really want to go <laughs> see that i don't know why it just looks so pretty like i'm just in love with those um a safari tour which oh I you've can, done I can, yeah. but yeah i'd want to do that i want this is also just okay now i've got some really random <laughs> random funny ones in here okay mm -hmm. all, all seriousness is out this is just now funny i have like um i just want to see what an oasis just it's like <laughs> like this is yeah. i'm just so confused how it's like in the middle of a desert and there's just like a random pond there with some trees like it's so odd yeah like you could have like you could not see a single thing except sand and then you turn around and there's like a tree tree and then like a pond 
I just want to see you what's up with that. Like, are they it? real? Naturally come across it or just go visit one? Maybe a bit of both. Like, go to the desert, but I yeah. want to, like, surprisingly find an oasis <laughs> and be like, a blindfold you, you I'll take you to the middle of the yeah, desert. Yes, yes, yes. You've got to find it, the oasis. Because, like, I just, I just want to see, like, what if they're real. Like, I don't believe in them. Like, how? Also, um, explore an ancient Egyptian tomb. Like, I, No, I, that I would be my know. nightmare. I too, yeah. I hate that kind of stuff. I love ancient Egypt for some reason. Like, that's the one thing of history that for some reason I really like. I'd want to go. No. That's like, like you know I don't know what it is about mummies and all that kind of stuff. It just oh, creeps me them. out. I love them. Um, also, this is this is not really travel, but I really just want to find out where celebrities live, like their houses, and drive around. And just, <laughs> that's so creepy. Not in the creepy that's way. That's so though. creepy. Not in the creepy way, though. Like, Let in, them live. No, as in, like, just see what kind of neighbourhoods they're living in. Like, Rich neighbourhoods. Like, I already know where two celebrities live. I'm not oh. going to name those celebrities. Oh, so but she's I know stalking them. You're so stalking them. So if I go them. and I go, I just want to see in real life. Like, I hope you get invited these, inside. Like, these people live here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then my last one is I want to try enter Area 51. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a good like, idea. Like, I really just want to. Like, Thank I know you. I'm probably going to get shot and die, but, like, <laughs> I really just want to try. Maybe that's how you go. He's trying to that's, break yeah, into Area 51. I'll go out that way, guys. Like, I'll film it for you. I'll send it before they can try. I just, I'm so curious. <laughs> Live stream it. Like, literally, I'm so curious. Like, you know those things where, like, you, even if you try to fly a drone, they'll, like, shoot it down? Yeah. But I just want to, yeah. Hmm. I'll go film for you guys. Next pod episode. <laughs> From um, Area keep an eye out. Um, And then these are just, like, side notes. Um, I will be flying, because this is, you know, my dream. Yeah. I will be flying business class at least. For all of these trips. Oh, she's bougie. You know? She's and bougie. And I will be going with other people because I could not do a single one of those trips by myself. Why not? Because I need I need someone. Don't, don't you want to solo travel? No. I love I'd never want to solo do it, travel. Really? No. You've got to do it. You've got to experience it. Maybe it's like the a... Oasis. Because <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> no, but solo travel, like when you just go and you do your own thing, don't you? No. Really? I, I want to do something with someone. I'd get so bored if I was by myself. No, but you make your own fun. No. The whole yeah. thing is like I want to make memories with people. Like, but that's what the thing is—you you meet people along the way. No, you make new friends overseas. How no? can I meet new friends if I'm finding an oasis, Carmen? Well, not in the way o- oasis, no, but, but like, like you stay in hostels. That's that's the experience. I'm not staying in a hostel. That was the other thing. The final thing is I'm staying in nice luxury looking accommodation with nice bathrooms. That's my final deal. Thank you. That's my dream trip. <laughs> it's so yeah. interesting, like the differences in our. Like characters, like you're very like a luxury kind mean. of traveler. You but know? I want to do a lot of random stuff. But yeah. I, ideally, I'd like it to be nice, you know. See, like I, I, I like camping, roughing it. Like I'm there oh, for okay. the genuine experience, you know, making friends, all that kind of like. But if I'm going to like a random place, I'm not going to make friends. That's like the point. if I'm exploring London, I'm not going to find. And you go to the club and or like the pub, and you make friends. You're like, hey, I'm a tourist, and then. That's how you meet people. No. The whole thing is the experience. No. Some of my no, parents' no. best friends are people that are not traveling. No. Really? No. Yeah, no. No. Oh. I'd meet people, then go on trips to make memories with, with them. That. Yeah. And to also, because I I need the personal experience. I don't want to worry about making friends. Like, you know? I just wow. want to take in the experience. Yeah. So, yeah. That's those are two dream trips. Like, I feel like the places are, like, the same, but how, what you do yeah, there the, is that's I never actually thought about that. Like, the way you travel really changes yeah. experience. Yeah, no. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, sick. Kind of opposite, but kind of similar. Yeah. That's my dream trip. That's basically our dynamic. Yeah. Kind of opposite, but kind of similar. Um, yeah. Kind of opposite, kind of similar. <laughs> Whoosh. Alrighties, alrighties. Next segment is guessing the country, but, like, like the game Taboo. So we can't actually say the name of the country. Okay. We just got to describe it. Yeah. And you got to try and guess. Okay, cool. Do I, do, am I supposed to make it obvious? Like, I think start, you know, start with obvious, broad, but then, make, then you can make it subjective. Well, yeah. You know, fun. All right. So I'm going to start with this place. Okay. Um, and let's just disclaimer. We don't want to offend anyone. We're not offending anyone. We're, We're just, not. This is how we know the countries. Yeah. Trying to get each other to guess. Yes. A little bit of fun. Just give yes. a game. Yes. So um, first place. Okay, so they have good food. They would be good dancers, I think. Um, very vibrant kind of personalities, people. 
Um, good food, good dancers. Good dancing. I feel like dancing would be a big part of the culture. I mean, that could Is be like anywhere. Spanish of some sort? Sort of. Okay, sort of. okay, yeah. Spain, where else could they kind of be that Mexico? vibe? Mexico? Mm. Okay, continue, continue. All right, so it's definitely, I'll say it's in the, I think it's in the Southern Hemisphere. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't really know much else. They have a food called arepas, which is like like kind of bread with like cheese. Okay, it's some stuff. sort of like Latin. Yeah. Country. Yeah. I don't know the country. Well, I don't know. Brazil, because... Argentina, Chile, Colombia. Yeah. Wow. wow. There was so much more you could have given me for that one. I'm like thinking. what? Like the you know the um. What is it? The movie producers, like Columbia Pictures or something, with the lady holding the. Okay, well I don't know. I don't know what that is. Anyways, this My is turn. your turn. Let me show. Whoa, those are so many countries. I <laughs> know. Oh, okay, please give me one that I know. Wait, um, there are two ways I could go about this. Yeah. But I'll do it in a way the pod will get it. All right. So, see, I'm trying not to think. Obvious. Good food. Mm-hmm. Um. Literally anywhere at this point. Yeah, well, you said that. Um, I'm going to say a word, but it's going to give it away. Okay. Orthodox. More like Greece? Yeah. Okay. I got this one. Okay. You'll get this one. My motherland. Oh, India. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really know what else to say. Um, Anyways, next one. So, it's like some people might not know it, mm-hmm. but you should know it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because some people just assume around it. Yeah. But you should know it. Yeah. Okay? Um, there's one thing. If I say this one fact, it'll give it away. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to, like, flesh it out. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Think, like, um, very much, like, war, historical war. Yeah. And, like, solidified borders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any guesses? I mean, I'm thinking, like, Middle East. Not quite. So I'll give it away. Mm-hmm. One of our friends. Yeah. Heritage. Serbia. No. But like. Heritage. Mongolia. <laughs> <laughs> you out there? I don't know if you're watching it. She you doesn't even watch. Mongolia. You're in here. Mongolia. We were at Mongolia. Love Mongolia. She's. She, 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 She's not Asian, guys. She's not she in the slightest. How Australian white friend. <laughs> Seven generations Australian, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. But she's like one percent Mongolian, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Can All right. Respond? Okay. This yeah. place, potatoes. Need I say more? If I don't say, if if, I, if she doesn't get it from potatoes, potatoes, she's actually uncultured. Potatoes. Potatoes. The potato famine. Where is known for potatoes? Guys, I don't actually know. I don't know these facts about country. This is common knowledge. History. Potato famine. When I say potato famine, where do you think of? I don't know. I don't know. This is, you should know. Give me more clues. Um, leprechauns. Oh, Ireland. Yeah. What's a potato famine? The Irish are known for their really? potatoes. The great Irish potato famine. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's Adam. actually that's actually poor If there are you. any Irish viewers that's out there, I'm very you. sorry. I don't know. All right. Like, I've heard of it, but I didn't know Ireland is a potato famine. Earthquake. That could be anywhere. No, but decent earthquake. Um, New Zealand, no. Where's the recent earthquake? The recent earthquake. There was a recent earthquake. Yes, uh, Where? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is not up to news. I'm not. Look at me. Yeah. Go a little bit more. Not gonna lie, I don't know. A little bit more east. Mm-hmm. In that sort of. Well, that's where I was already. Southy, easty. Yeah. Do the couple. Um. Well, not Thailand. No, but like Cambodia. Similar. Cambodia. No. Indonesia. No, similar to Thailand. Thailand. Vietnam. No, no, no. Similar to Thailand. Thailand. Taiwan. Yeah. That is very far east. Yeah, so east. Very far east. Yeah. 
I think like my favorite place where I'm learning Grindwood mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, want to go, mm-hmm. but like just a little bit. Andorra? No. Oh. Similar. Small, small place. Pretty much the same. Malta? Malta? No. Monaco? Hmm? Monaco? Monaco? Yeah. Ah. Well done. There we go. There we go. Just said Formula One. Their language is not made fun of, but sometimes people say it funny. Yeah. Because of its language. Okay? Yeah. Um, there are obvious things I could say for this country, but I'm trying yeah, to it, yeah. yeah. Um, they'd probably have very nice people. What do you mean probably have very nice people? Because, yeah, that they probably have very nice people. Okay. Um, dirty, trustworthy, very popular, worldwide, stuff. What? If I say what it is, it's going to be obvious. Well, who makes like worldwide stuff? Anything I can think is China. But... Think more love. More for love. love for love. Germany. Experience. It's not just the stuff, but it's the experience that you get when you go look for the stuff. What? The food. The food has been put into said stuff experience as well. What? I'm saying this in such like an all around way. Yeah. Wait, not Germany. No. Italy. I think I want to buy something and yeah. I know I'm going to this one place. Oh, Sweden. Yeah, Ikea. Got it. But I didn't want to say furniture. You could have just said meatballs. But that's then... so obvious. Uh, true. Similar vein to you and I's motherland. Mm-hmm. Um, but not quite. A bit more. Can you just give me, because I'm not going to rattle off countries. I just want you to give me more about them. More about them? I mean, I don't know that much about them. Apart from that, they're sort of culturally similar to where I'm, I guess, from. Not quite. Bangladesh. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally all I, really I can give. That. All right. Last one, I reckon. Last one, yes. So, this place. Mm-hmm. Think. Island. Island. Okay. And then think high expectations. High expectations. Famous. Famous. Yeah. Yeah. But unexpected. But unexpected. Island. Yeah. What? Mm hmm. I mean, there's so many islands, it could literally be anywhere. Pacific. Pacific islands, what? I mean, like Fiji, no. Bali. Mm, niche. Niche. But famous. But famous. Yeah. Mm. Niche on the outside, famous on the inside. What? I am so confused. Um, New Caledonia, French no. Polynesia, no. Kiribati. It is? I was going to say. <laughs> I can't I'm trying to hold it in. I'm trying to. Here of us, our favorite place. On that note, on that note, I reckon it's time for our next segment. Oh yeah, that I reckon that's a call for the next segment. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Carmen and Keisha Airlines. Today, we'll be telling you all about the wonderful island of Kiribati, boasting many white sandy beaches and crystal clear lagoons. Tourism in Kiribati is just beginning, all the more reason to visit before this place becomes an international hotspot. Kiribati is most emphatically not another Tahiti or Hawaii where you can go to relax and have nothing to worry about. It has few visitors and they have to be prepared to rough it. That said, there aren't many countries where people are more friendly. There are a multitude of islands to visit in Kiribati, from the Gilbert Islands to the Lion Islands or even the Phoenix Islands. On the main island, you can even visit famous places such as London, Paris, Poland, or even Banana. The tiny nation is only 800 kilometers squared, but if you include the many atolls, this rises to a 3.5 million kilometers squared in the Pacific Ocean. Better get the swimming costume on. However, many of the lagoons are highly polluted and strong riptides are present in surrounding oceans, so be wary when entering the water. Also, Kiribati is the first place in the entire world that will experience the new year, so you can get in early on the action. 
You needn't fear a total separation from civilization, however, as bars, cinemas, cars, and the internet are increasingly a part of life in Kiribati. The people aren't unwelcoming, but you're more likely to be greeted by the children than adults, who tend to eye visitors cautiously. Once you break the ice, you'll find a fascinating culture and plenty of glorious nature to explore. The variety of food on Kiribati is limited. If a shipment of imported food has just come in, buy it now as it won't last long. While Western style products will be slightly limited, you will find that the basics are generally available. A lack of fruit and vegetables, however, is really the major concern. It is always worthwhile though, trying the local sashimi, which is straight from the ocean to your plate. However, the fish caught locally may give you food poisoning, so be extra careful. Although there's no recent history of terrorism in Kiribati, attacks cannot be ruled out. Some care should be taken on roads as the traffic can include pigs, children, dogs and buses, all fighting for road space. Here are some fun facts about Kiribati that are sure to entice you. The presence of gun emplacements and shipwrecks from World War II battles on South Tarawa makes shipwrecks diving a common tourist activity. In the 20th century, Kiribati was known as the Gilbert Islands. In World War II, the islands were occupied by Japan, while the post-war era in the US and UK used Christmas Island for a nuclear weapons test. The islands finally became independent in 1979. In 1995, Kiribati suspended diplomatic relations with France to protest the latter's decision to resume nuclear testing on the Marora Atoll. So, if you're looking for your next holiday destination, check out Kiribati, but remember, it's rapidly sinking, so get in quick! This is DJ Cumin and MC Key signing out! Good night!